A wide-ranging investigation into the United States Intelligence Network has produced some shocking results. The Washington Post says that the network has grown so large since 9-11, no one knows its exact size or cost. But does all this security keep America safe? Here's the CBC's Lori Graham. It's been described as top secret America, the underworld of the USA, so filled with spies and intelligence agents, it's hard to imagine that so many people can work below the radar. 850,000, more than the population of Washington, D.C., hold top level security clearances, where some 1,271 organizations and nearly 2,000 private companies work on counterterrorism, homeland security, and intelligence overlapping agencies doing overlapping things. But according to the Washington Post, this security web created after the September 11th attacks has a lack of focus, creates redundancy and waste, and has grown beyond control. You hear the government itself saying we really don't have our arms around what we've built. The paper points to two domestic incidents. Army Major Nadel Hassan accused of shooting 13 people in Fort Hood, Texas, and the so-called underwear bomber. In both cases, intelligence was available, but overlooked by agencies. Rather than a failure to collect or share intelligence, this was a failure to connect and understand the intelligence that we already had. President Obama was quick to speak out then, but today... Is the intelligence community too bloated, Mr. President? He refused to answer questions about his intelligence community, something his press secretary couldn't do. You want redundancy, you want some redundancy built into that system. I agree that the intelligence community is too big and too inexperienced. And incompetent, says this former CIA agent. Larded money on top of money, people on top of people, buildings on top of buildings. Uh, so we can say we have a big intelligence community. In most things, big doesn't always equal quality. But this afternoon, the director of national intelligence defended the quality of his agency, saying the newspaper's description is not the intelligence community he knows. He says there is a degree of overlap to strength and analysis, but says he is constantly working to reduce inefficiencies and redundancies. Lori Graham, CBC News, Washington. And here are a couple more details that illustrate just how large the U.S. Intel network has become. In the Washington area, 33 building complexes for top secret work have been built or are under construction. That adds up to 17 million square feet. That's about the size of three pentagons.